Tunakushukuru sana Mungu wetu na baba wetu tuwasema asante kwa sababu ya nafasi hii hata sasa unatuita wakati mambo ni magumu sana tuendelee kukutetea kwa sababu umefufuka na kuna wengi ambao hawaja kujua nasi umetufanya tuende tukataburisha wengine ya kwamba kuna nguvu kuna uwezo kuna tumaini hata pahali kunaonekana kuna giza sana ya kwamba kuna nguvu zitokazo kwako tunaomba tunapoitafakari neno lako na wale ambao wanatutazama wakiwa manyubani nena nasi bwana huisha roho zetu tuongeze tumaini tuongeze imani kwa sababu ni katika Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini amen tu keti wale tuko hapa <coughs> naitwa David Jogona wa Mudhui nampenda Yesu kwa kuniokoa na kunipa tumaini ninamfurahia kwa sababu ya neema yake nyingi sana maishani mwangu na ninaendelea kumwambia ningetaka kuongozwa naye kurindwa naye kwa sababu unajua wale ambao anaongoza hufika na wale ambao wanaandamana naye kule njiani anawalinda na anawaelekeza katika kila jambo tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya wakati huu ambao tuko nao tukikumbuka kufufuka kwa mokozi wetu Yesu Kristo na ni wiki ya kwanza the first sunday after resurrection na tunaendelea tu kukumbuka hali hiyo ya kufufuka kwa Yesu Kristo na matukio ambayo yalifanyika pude tu baada ya Yesu Kristo kufufuka na tunajua ya kwamba kufa kwa Yesu Kristo kulikuwa wingu zito sana kwa wa mitume the disciples and anybody else who walked cross with Jesus Christ it was a very 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 difficult time and a time that people were disoriented na hawakujua atafanya nini na tumeona katika ijiri ya Yohana mlango huo wa na moja wakati Petro anaambia mitume kwa sababu ya kufa moyo na hali kuwa ngumu akawaambia wezake mimi narudi kuvua samaki na wengine sita uh, six out of the 11 akamwambia tuna tutaenda na wewe and therefore they went back to fishing and then uh, the others maybe went somewhere tuna wale ambao walienda ya mouse nao walitoka Jerusalem wakasema waende kwingine wakatafute hali gani there are those who decided to lock themselves in the house to wait and see what comes up but we see Peter and his uh, disciples wakienda ziwani kutega sam, kuvua samaki na hapo ndio tunaona Yesu Kristo akiwajia nataka jioni amini asubuhi jema ni asubuhi bado tuongee juu ya urejesho ambao tunapata kupitia kwa uh, kufufuka kwa Yesu unajua wakati wote sisi hupatana na hali gumu kama wa Kristo hali gumu zinatupata na zinatukuba na tunajipata tukiwa na mambo ambayo yanatatanisha hatuelewi tutafanya nini tutaendelea tuta, tuta vipi just like the disciples kama tu vile mitume walijipata katika hiyo hali ngumu na wakashidwa sasa ni kama mambo yamefika mwisho na hawajui wataaza wapi waelekee wapi katika hali hiyo kuna vile Yesu Kristo alikunja na akaleta urejesho akawarejesha kwa sababu hawa sio hali gumu tu walikuwa ndani yake lakini hata ni kama wali backslide wakarudia jia zao za zamani wakati Petro aliwaambia waende wakavue samaki na wote wakaenda kule lakini kile ambacho walikipata kule kilikuwa kigumu sana kwa sababu usiku mzima hawakuweza kuvua chochote they were not able to catch any fish throughout the night and that morning wakati walikuwa wanavuta nyavu nyavu zao na wanaziosha na wanajitayarisha kurudi nyumbani hapo ndipo Yesu Kristo aliwatokea na akawaandalia aka breakfast murwa ilikuwa na furahi ya kwamba Yesu Kristo pia alijua kupika he knew how to light fire kwa sababu walikuta amewasha moto wa makaa na amewekelea samaki kwa hiyo moto na pia kulikuwa na mkate i don't know you know ali, ali, ali kada chapati akawaandalia chakula na sio samaki zile walikuwa nazo kule mtoni 
alikuwa na samaki ambazo alikuwa nazo because Jesus Christ is Lord he is able to know and understand the problems that we have and the needs that we have and he is able to meet them he is the king of kings he can command anything he can do anything and this morning they wait the breakfast that was prepared by Christ himself and i want to talk about that verse 15 moving forward where Pat Jesus asks Peter whether he loves him do you love me Peter take care of my sheep do you love me tend my sheep and i want to remind us the falling down of Peter vile Peter na na mitume walianguka na wakarudi nyuma kile ambacho kilikuwa kimepungua ni upendo love upendo ndio ulikuwa umepungua and that is why Jesus comes and starts asking and pointing directly to where the problem is do you love me unanipenda kweli na unaweza kukumbuka ya kwamba wakati Yesu Kristo alikuwa na teswa Petro alikutwa na msichana mara ya kwanza akakutwa na wengine na wanamwangalia anasema huyu ni kama ni mmoja alikuwa mmoja wa wale na pita aliweza kumkana Yesu peupe akasema mimi simjui hata sijawahi ona huyo jamaa hata sijaitanishwa naye and that is why Jesus Christ now comes to Peter directly to Peter not to the other people but to Peter and you remember even the, the reading word which we read when the when when Jesus or when the angel at the tomb met the readers he told them go and tell the disciples including Peter why why Peter kwa sababu Peter had already backslidden had already fallen back by denying Jesus wa kusema ya kwamba hamjui hajamuona hawajaitanishwa naye alikuwa ame ame ameanguka amerudi nyuma lakini neno la Mungu linasema na linatuambia ya kwamba Yesu Kristo kufufuka kwake ni kitu cha kwanza kina, kuna leta ni urejesho restoration restoration and this restoration is being brought back by love and i want to talk three things which are very very important about restoration and their connection with love number one, if we want to be restored we must learn that love is a priority not an accessory is not a gadget love is not a gadget it is a priority it is something that we need to have with us it is something that we should we 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 need to have in our hearts something that should be deep 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 in us if we love christ as much there is nothing there is no end that we cannot go tunaweza kugojea tunaweza kupitia hali ngumu tukiendelea kumkiri tukiendelea kutambua nguvu zake na uwezo wake lakini kwa pita upendo wake ni kama ulikuwa hafifu kidogo ni kwa sababu wakati ali, aliona Yesu Kristo anateswa kwaza alimkana ya pili aliitelekeza wanafuzi waende tena wakavue samaki na ina happen hata kwetu sisi pia sometimes we find ourselves exactly katika nyayo za pita wakati mwingine tunashindwa kupenda wakati mwingine tunashindwa kutenda vile tunastahili kufanya kutenda to our loved ones kwa wake wetu kwa waume zetu kwa watoto wetu kwa kanisa kwa jamii tunasikia wakati mwingine ni kama tunatutawachilia mambo mengine kwa sababu ya hali ambayo tuko nayo lakini kile ambacho kinaweza kutuletea urejesho ni kurudisha upendo kurudisha upendo i was reading something about the the a narrative of uh, the our first parents Adam and Eve and they are love when god created eve na akampelekea adam adam alisema finally i have seen bone from bone of my bone flesh of my flesh na akashika mchana akambusu na unajua walikaa wakitembea pamoja wakipendana wakapendana na wakaishi vizuri lakini baada ya wao kula tunda na waka, Mungu akaja akawafukuza katika lile shaba a commentator was really asking baada ya wao kufurushwa na Mungu alipoondoka walibaki wakifanya nini did they Adam remain complaining where do you mefanya tufukuzwe unajua 
Hei mai gatua, magi koro kerana nak guru mai nyugu, mana lagi? Wei naya atau matu gatua? Wei dia mefanya hivi, you know, blaming and accusing one another. It's not clear what really happened, but from the show of things, they were able to recollect themselves and they restored their love and they continued living together. Praise the name of the Lord. There is need for restoration. There is need. Resurrection means we need to be restored back to God. We need to come back to God. And how do we come back to God? We must value love. Love. Love one another. Jesus Christ told his disciples, you must love one another so that the world knows you are really and truly my disciples. When you love one another, when you accept one another, and this is a great command that God has given us today. And even when Jesus Christ was asked the greatest commandment, he said, the first commandment is love. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. And the second commandment is you shall love. You shall love. So love is very, very key. Very, very important. It's not an accessory. It is a priority in everything. In our homes. Restoration in our homes will come when love comes back. When we are called back to love. Loving one another. When husbands shall truly love their wives. When wives shall truly love their husbands. When parents shall truly love their children. When children shall truly love their parents. When we shall truly love our neighbors, there shall be rest, 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 restoration. Where there are difficulties, where there is hatred, love, love, love. And even in our country, restoration to this country will only come about when love is restored. When we see our leaders estranged and their are, they, 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 they are, are distances, growing big and big and big. The only solution is not forming other alliances with other people. Those things may not help the country, but the only thing that can help our country come back and our threads of relationship and working together coming back is when we sit down and answer this honest question that Jesus was asking to Peter, do you really love me? When we get to a point where we shall ask ourselves, do I really love this person? If I love him, as Jesus said, do to others what you do want done to you. Tedea mwezako kile abacho. You know, kamo getaka kusifiwa, sifu mwezako. Kamo getaka kupewa nafasi ya kwaza, pea mwezako nafasi ya kwaza. If you do want to be forgiven, forgive that other person. Love is a priority and not an accessory. Sometimes you use love as an accessory. When we want to fix things, when we want, to, we want some favors, that is why we, when we spoil our, our people with words of love and tell them, tell them how we love them, how we value them, call them sweet names, but the moment we get what we want, we slip back to the old way of life. May God help us to know and acknowledge that love is a priority in the restoration of our relationships with God, our relationship with one another. Number two, love is done. It is not merely spoken. Love is an action. Love is an action. You must do. Love is done. You know, love demands an action. And that is why Jesus is telling Peter, do you really love me? Take care of my sheep. Don't take them back to the to the sea to fish. Don't just waste them out there. Take care. Take care of my sheep. Do you love me? Ted my sheep. Those two words are very, very important. And they are verbs. They are action words. If you love another person, it must be evident by love. By love. A story is told of a a young man and young woman, woman who fell in love some places in India. The lady had come from England and the guy was an Indian. When that lady fa finished whatever she was doing in India, she went back to England. 
And they made a promise with a young man that he will follow. He will follow him. And those days, it was 1970s, the means of transport was not very, very, very uh, uh, available for everyone. It is only the people who are highly ranked who could afford to travel by plane and even by ship. And so this very helpless village, village boy was looking for ways how he can, and he made a lot of effort to look, uh, to, to learn how he, he can connect himself with his love across to Europe. So he did a lot of reading of the geographies, the connections, the map, the, how the, the options that he had, and he found that because he was not, uh, he had come, not come from a well-up family, he had very little options. But the love for this lady was really pushing. And for sure he understood that love is not just that emotion, it can be only expressed by an action. So, this young man, after working so hard, he sold everything that he had, and he bought a bicycle. A bicycle. And he decided, this is what I will use to reach out to my lover. And he took risk and started riding a bicycle from India to Europe. We are told that he was riding 70 kilometers every day and he reached Europe in four months. And in four months, when he got there, he got connected to his loved one. And they got married. And we are told they lived happily after that. I'm telling you, my brother, my sister, love is an action. It's not just a spoken word. What are you doing? If you love somebody, you will go out of your way. Jesus, because of his love to us, went out of his way. He left his glory in heaven, came and died for us. Went through a very difficult time. We have people who have given themselves because they love. We talk about our founding fathers who gave themselves, went to the forest and fought for 10 years, from 1952 to 1963, when the, during the times where there was a the state of emergency and the, 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 the war that was there, that love for the country led these people to go out. I don't know whether we still have in our generation people who love the country, who can go out of their way, who can sacrifice their families, sacrifice whatever else they have for the sake of the country. May God help us. We still pray that even for the church, that there are people who can sacrifice, give out themselves for the sake of the church, as many in the past have given themselves and for, forsaken so many things, forsaken a lot of, a lot of, a, a lot of favors so that they can serve and make the church what it is supposed to be. Brothers and sisters, our restoration requires love, and that love is not just a merely spoken word, it is an action. May God cause us to want to do that which can change and transform, because that is what Peter was asked to do. If you love me, take care of my sheep. If you love me, tend my sheep. And even today, Jesus is still talking to us in our situations that if we love him, we take care. If we love him, we tend. If we love him, we go out of our way. We sacrifice ourselves. Ride a bicycle for four months is not an easy task. It is total sacrifice. But if we want to get to that point, if we want to, to actualize our love, then we must go out of our way. Point number three, to meet Jesus is to encounter real love. To meet Jesus. When these disciples were in the sea and 
Somebody exclaimed when they got the fish, it is Jesus. Immediately Peter left them and put on his cloak and went to Jesus. And then the, after they had sat and taken that breakfast, we see Jesus now talking to them and giving Peter the mandate. Take care, take care, reminding him how they started, reminding him how he even confessed Jesus Christ when he, Jesus had asked, who do people say I am? And Jesus probably reminded him, I told you that day, I changed your name from Peter to Severus, a rock. And I told you that I will establish, establish my church on you and the gates of hell shall not prevail on it. That true love and that reconnection when we meet Jesus, we are reminded of where we have, we have come from, where we had fallen, and the, we are reminded of the renewal and the continuity. And then we are charged to go and show that love to others. Because from here, we see Peter going about and establishing churches. When they were told to go and wait in Jerusalem, when the Holy Spirit came, it was Peter who stood up and gave a message of what is happening. When all the other people were condemning the disciples of being drunk, in, at 9 a.m., Peter rose up and said, it is not that we are drunk, but the power of God has come as it was promised. And this Jesus, who you crucified, has risen. And that is where the gospel began, where the church was born, when 3,000 people came back to Christ. Because real love, when Peter re-encountered Jesus, he encountered real love. And he was not going to stop at sharing this love of Christ to, all, to the other people. And may God help us that also as we declare our reason, Lord, there is power of resurrection, that we get that real love, that we can spread to, the, to our neighbors, that we can spread to the hurting, wale watu ambao wanafinyika, wale watu hawana tumaini, it is, our, it is our calling, it is our mandate to go and share this love. Love that changes, love that, that uh, transforms, love, love that lifts up. Wale ambao wako humiliated, wale ambao wako devastated, this love changes and lifts up. Jesus said, No man has loved us than this one. That as man shall give his life for his friends. Real love. Jesus is the real love. He's the true love. The, the, letter, the, letter of John, the letter of John says, Let us one, love one another. For love is of God. And he who does not love does not know God and have never seen him. If you don't love, you don't know God. You have never seen him. You cannot, you cannot talk of God if you don't love. It is real love is encountering with God. So may God help us this morning as we shout, as we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Let us remember and let, let us know that encountering, to meet with Jesus, is to encounter the real love. When the disciples in that sea of Tiberias, when they encountered, when they met with Jesus Christ, they encountered the real love. They knew now how to love. They knew now how to, to, to spread that love because they had encountered that real love. You have not yet known the meaning of love if you have not encountered with Jesus Christ. May God help us. May God continue revealing himself to us so that we may continue loving him, we may continue seeking him, we may continue understanding him, and today's summary is that love is a priority, is not an accessory. Love is a priority. Make love a priority in your home. For us to be joyous, for us to have good living with one another at our homes, in your village, in your, in your neighborhood, in your place of work. Make love, make love a priority. Remember, love is an action, 
It is not merely spoken. Don't just go telling people how you love them if you don't have the ability to give yourself, to do something, to sacrifice, to go out of your way for them. Love is better spoken by word, by an action, rather than just mere words. And finally, as we have said, love, meeting with Christ, is encountering real love. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we thank you this morning again for speaking to us and reminding us that resurrection came about so that we may get restoration. Sometimes we find ourselves foreign back, like Peter and the disciples. We find ourselves hopeless and not availing much in everything that we are doing. But gracious Lord, you have reminded us that when you have resurrected, and when you resurrected, you came about to restore. And one of the major things, transformative things in our lives is love. Loving others. As you loved us, that love that brought you down to this earth, that love that kept you on the cross, because you are looking at the whole world and seeing how devastated we were. And you said you will wait, you will hang on, you will go through it until we are saved. Until you have paid all the debt because you loved us. God, sometimes we go through difficult problems in our families, in our lives, because we are not able to love. The measure of love has gone down. In our country, we sometimes encounter hardships, hard difficulties, because our love has grown cold. Gracious God, speak to us, speak to our leaders, speak to our parents, speak to our neighbors, speak to us, fellow workers in the church, Lord, that we may remember and know that love is key. And help us, God, to come out of our way, as we are calling Peter to stand up and feed your lives, tend your lives, that we may also spring to action to show love to our family members, to our neighbors, in our church, in the country, so that God, life can change. And above all, Lord, help us to encounter you, to seek to encounter you, to meet with you, because when we meet with you, we meet the real love. We encounter the real love. Continue expounding your word, Lord, Father, to us. And gracious God, meet us at our points of need. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I want to pray for you, you who may be going through a difficult time. You could be drifting like Peter. Fallen away from your calling because of the situation and circumstances. I would want you to believe this power of resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is able to restore us, which can pull you as it pulled Peter from his fishing to now coming back to go about the business that Jesus had called him. Just lift up your hand where you are in your house. We pray together. God, you know us. You understand us. Sometimes because of our feebleness, because of our weaknesses as our human beings, when we face an encounter of overwhelming situations, like Peter encountered, we are likely to fall back. We are likely to sleep and go back to our old ways. God, remember these dear ones who are trusting you for restoration from where they have fallen, from where they have slipped, that God, Father, you may lift them up. And God, Father, as you discuss with them about your love, and you negotiate with them as you negotiated with Peter, do you really love me? Take care of my sheep. That God, they shall be able to rise up to take and tend their, your sheep in whichever responsibility that God has given us. As parents, as husbands, as wives, as neighbors in our places of work, that God will rise up. 
And above all, Lord, that God, you help us to spring into actions, to do actions that will bring others to the realization that we love them. That we can even sacrifice so that our love can be evident. Meet these dear ones, O oh Lord, as they cry unto you at their points of need to the glory and honor of your name. Our prayer of faith in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you so much. Tunapenda sana, tunaombea neema ya mbwana, tunapoendelea, tuendelea kutilia manani, magizo about tunapewa, ili tuweze kuishi vizuri na kutekeleza mawazo about tunapewa. Ukipata na fasi ya kwenda kupewa chanjo ya COVID, especially wada watu ambao wana, wanapewa na fasi ya kwanza, please go and get that job, it is important and also maintain the, uh, the rules and the protocols that are being given. Unless it is very, very important for you to go to crowded places, please avoid those places because we are witnessing a lot of people getting infected and this is not a very cheap disease. When you go to the hospitals, insurance, you know, and above all, there are no space, uh, spaces in the hospital because they are so the better. If we can prevent ourselves from getting sick, the better. God bless you. We still trust in God. We shall make it. We shall triumph. God is with us. God bless you and do you well. Thank you.